Coming up next, my five most complimented fragrances in my personal collection. Stay tuned to find out what these gems are. Coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. And today's topic, video, again, I haven't done it in a long time. My five most complimented fragrances in my personal collection. Now, of course, this is something that changes over time, just like personal preferences. And depending on which fragrances you're wearing, maybe a little bit more, of course, you're gonna maybe get more compliments. But among my collection, which I rotate and wear a lot of my fragrances because I wear multiple fragrances throughout the day, these are the five right now that always get me the most compliments. And I'm gonna go from five down to number one. Coming in at number five, and one of the oldest in my collection, and still one of the most complimented, is Oudin by Serzhov. Take a look at the bottle there. This is, you know, just a citrus, grapefruit, coffee, wonderful, I would call it a, not a dark freshie because it's not dark, but I would call this a sub substantive freshie because it's got so many interesting uh, notes going on in there, like I said, with the coffee, which you, you wouldn't expect in this, and a lot of people don't get it, but it gives it this richness, this boldness. And this is a fragrance that lasts 10 hours. And just a little story, for those of you who have been watching, I was on a show called My Mom, Your Dad on HBO Max, and one of the cast members who's become a very good friend, Grant, was visiting me you know, last month, and you know, I took him to Osme, and we were trying different fragrances, and we ended up settling on, you know, he took a few samples, but the one I really recommended to him was Udin because he's starting to go on a lot of dates, he's meeting women, and um, so he's been wearing a sample of Udin, which is lights out for him. Every woman who's, who's smelled it on him has made a compliment, has said how much they like it. So this is a fragrance that, again, I wear it myself, I recommend it, it's a compliment getter, it's my number five. All right. Number four, and this is new into the list because it's one of my new fragrances. And this, of course, is Fougere Nobile from Nobile 1942. So this is, wow, the first house was Italian, Sergeoff, and this house is Italian. I've talked about this a lot, how Italian fragrances seem to really work well with me and my skin. But this is uh, just, again, They've taken a classic fougere, which you think of like oak moss, you think of woody, a little bit woody notes, uh, you think of maybe sometimes green and a little bit vibrant and fresh, sometimes barbershop fougere. This is not a barbershop fougere, but this is what I would say a modern twist, an Italian twist on a classic fougere. So if you like fougere, and I, I love fougeres because to me that symbolizes really classic perfumery. And I love vintage perfumery. I've been getting into it a lot more recently. And this one, you know, again, quick story. Wore it uh, a couple months ago right after I got it. It was smelled uh, by someone who was working in a restaurant. Two, work, two, two of the females working in the restaurant, they came and found me at my table after I checked out of the line and said, do you mind if we ask you something? Can you please tell us what fragrance you're wearing? And when I mentioned it and I told them where they could get it, they drove over an hour over on the weekend from Boca to Miami to get it for their husband. I, I told the story again the other day, but it's worth telling. That was a couple months ago. It was right before Christmas. And I saw uh, this woman the other day, and she told me that her husband is now on his third bottle. This is a 100 milliliter bottle, mind you. Third bottle in like two months, how much he loves it. So big compliment getter. And uh, again, jumped into my, into my top five, even though it's a new fragrance. Here's another new fragrance that I've had a little bit longer than the last one. Um, and uh, this is one that, how do I think, I got about four months ago, um, locally here in Miami, and this is from one of the, 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 the I think, again, <laughs> Italian. So number three also is from, is from Italy. And of course, this is Tiziana Terenza's Casanova 2021. So there you go, Tiziana. Terenzi, Casanova 2021. This is, they come out with a new one every year. So they have this Casanova 
line. Uh, you know, I don't talk a lot about flankers, um, but I'll be honest, I don't have the originals. So for me, it's not something that I compare it to the originals because this is the only one that I own. So to me, this is new. Um, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I, I got a, literally the other day, just wore this the other day for the first time in about a month and got like two compliments uh, from the ladies that were cutting my hair, the, the one behind the counter and then the one that was actually cutting my hair when I sat down, the hairstylist was like, I love your fragrance. I love your perfume, whatever you're wearing. And I was wearing this. And this again works really well on my skin. It's a very kind of dry, aromatic fragrance that's clean at the same time. It has a little bit of a skin smell to me. Um, but Casanova 2021, I think is an, an excellent fragrance. You know, their bottles are legendary. Uh, I would say that Tiziana probably does packaging as far as, you know, uh, presentation of the bottles and the boxes as well, or maybe better than any fragrance company out there. So if you like that, if you like that kind of art artistry in the whole package, but you also want a fragrance that's going to like bang out compliments for you. And it does for me. Um, to uh, Casanova 2021. Quick aside, I've said this before. I don't wear fragrances for compliments, okay? I wear them for myself. I wear them because I love the smell. I love smelling the fragrances on me. Compliments to me are a side benefit. It's like, okay, you know, that's great. Of course, we like to be complimented. Everyone does. I don't seek them. These fragrances just happen to get them for me. Um, and they may not get them for you. You know, I, I, I stress this. You got to try the fragrances. You got to try samples on your skin. You got to see how it works because every fragrance reacts differently depending on your body type, your the oiliness or dryness of your skin, what you eat, your DNA, your uh, you know basically your your immune system and the, the natural smell that you emit. That everyone has their own unique smell. All that plays into this. So. I don't want you to think, oh, okay, these five get compliments for Joel, so they're gonna automatically do it for me. I, I would say there's probably a good chance, but you know what, your skin, everything may be totally different. So, you know, do you. That's my lesson here. Do you do what works for you? This is what works for me. Coming in number two, and again, really new into the list in the last three or four months because I did not own this before that time. And that is, of course, Kalan from Parfums de Marly. Uh, Again, I like telling little anecdotes, uh, story, uh, goes back to my mom, your dad, about three months ago, three of the ladies from the cast came down to visit me in Miami. Uh, for those of you who watched the show, it was Karen, Trish and Dania. And they came down and they, they picked me up to go out to dinner. I got in the car. All three of them were like, literally like, Oh my gosh, what are you wearing? That is amazing. They're like, send us a picture of it. Now we want to buy it. We want this. I mean, it was like, I mean, one of the most visceral reactions that I've seen, and I get it all the time now. I had not owned Kalan prior to that. I immediately went the next day to Osme because we went out on a Saturday night. Sunday, I went in and bought it. Um, and since then, it's been a huge compliment getter for me. Some people love Kalan, some people don't. When it came out a couple years ago, I, I admitted this, I was kind of, um, you know, I was lukewarm on this. I wasn't, I wasn't down the middle. I didn't love it, I didn't hate it. And to be honest with you, it's because it seemed, you know, when I first smelled it, it smelled nice. It was peppery. It was kind of this blood orange. It was spicy. It was woody with vanilla in the dry down. It didn't seem that exotic to me. But when I put it on, it's a whole different ball game. And it, it just is one of those smells that people like smelling on other people. Um, and it really works for me. All right. That leads us to number one. And this has been number one on my list for a long time. And it still is. It just, I, I, it is my go-to compliment getter, of course. This is Desired from Ella Sire. For those of you, let's see if you can see the name on the bottom. I don't, the name, they usually write that. Yeah, they write the name on the bottom. So you can kind of see, see it there, Desired. This is Ella Sire, the French. So my top two, basically, compliment getting perfumes are from French houses, and the other three are Italian. Pretty interesting. Desired is a saffron, oud, spicy, bomb, sexiness in a little gold shell. 30 milliliters, about $180 roughly or so. So well worth it. 
So well worth the price. Anytime I'm in Osme and people ask me for recommendations, I take them. One of the first fragrances I always take them to when I'm walking around the store is Desired. I've never had one person that smelled it and didn't like it. Um, and it is really wearable for men and women, and it just gets me compliments. I, I don't know what else to say, and it's also my probably best performing of all my fragrances. I get 15 hours on my skin. I get well more than 10 hours of good projection. It's just all day. It's intense. I, it creates this beautiful scent bubble. It gives me confidence. I think when you, it, in order to get compliments, a lot of how you wear your fragrance um, really is important. If you wear your fragrance with confidence and you feel bold and it energizes you, and that's what fragrance, a good fragrance does for me, it may not be the most popular one, but I can wear something and if it gives me confidence and energy and I love it, that radiates. You gotta think about that. If you wear a fragrance you really like, that really gives you a great feeling, that translates into your energy. Your energy then is projecting out to people and that energy is going to interact and you're gonna get compliments. So there you go, my top five. Hope you found this useful. Hope you found it fun to see what works for me. Again, may not work for you. Try it out, let me know. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfumes.